What's going on YouTube? This is Bear Brown. I'm in my food forest and today is a real hot day so I'm in the shade right now but I'm about to go ahead and show you my uh, watermelons because I want to pick one and I want to let you know what you can uh, do or uh, what you can look for to uh, pick your watermelons because I would hate for you to pick a watermelon in your uh, garden or your food forest and it's not ready yet. So let me go ahead and take you over to uh, my watermelons and I'm going to show you what I look for when it's time for me to go ahead and to pick one. All right, so this watermelon right here, it's a smaller watermelon, it's a crimson sweet. And I'm looking at the uh, the stem. Oh man, and I just, I'm just seeing uh, squash bugs lay their eggs. So I gotta go ahead and take care of that because I have a, I have problems with the uh, squash bugs. All right, but I look at the, uh, the stem and I'm gonna follow it all the way back to this uh, tendril. And this tendril is is uh, green. When it's uh, all dried out, then I know that's an indicator that my watermelon is ready for me to uh, harvest. So you always follow the stem, look at the uh, tendril. And then also some people will check to see if there's discoloration on the bottom, but and you can look for that, but that is my key right here. I always look for that tendril. And I want to make sure that it is very, very dry. It's brown. So let me go to this uh, watermelon here. This is a Jubilee watermelon. And I like the Jubilees. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to follow the stem all the way back. And I see that it's half brown. And then the bottom part is green. So I wouldn't want to pull that watermelon. So I want to make, I want to wait till that stem is all the way brown right there. All right, so let's check this watermelon. This is a, another uh, Crimson Sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow the uh, vine all the way back. I see this is all the way brown. You see that brown stem? So, and this is all dried out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off the vine and we shall see if it's uh, right. All right, got a bee that just landed on me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this heavy watermelon and we'll check it out. Oh, it's real heavy. Right here we go. This is a big watermelon. I'm gonna take this big knife and we're gonna see. Wow. Mm. 
smells great and look at the inside let's do it taste oh man this is very very sweet give me one more bite this is awesome So, you see, if you go ahead and check that tendril, that is the uh, critical point. Make sure it's all the way brown, and you can end up with a sweet, great tasting watermelon. All right, until next time, this is Bear, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go ahead and dig in and eat some more. Later.